All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to use this recipe, which I've kind of got written here in the corner, um, to go ahead and solve problem number one on the worksheet. So it says, draw a correct free body diagram for each mass separately. Now these are two different situations, um, but nevertheless, uh, just to kind of reinforce, each situation gets its own free body diagram. So here we go. Um, for this first one, I'm going to have the tension going up, and I'm going to have the weight going down. And for this guy here, I'm going to have the tension, I'm going to actually have two tensions from two different ropes, and I'll draw the weight pulling down on the object. Now, for those of you that are pretty clever, um, you might have already guessed that the tension in this first case should be about 50 newtons, and here it should be about 25 newtons as the weight's kind of divided up between the two tensions. And that's absolutely not the point of this video. The point of this video is not to get the answer in the quickest way possible. That sounds kind of strange. What the point of this video is is to show you how to use this recipe right here on an easy problem so that the harder problems can be solved using this technique and you basically get a really good grade on the exam without having to try too hard. So we've, we've just done step one. We have drawn a correct free body diagram for each mass separately. Now it says find the x and y components of any force pointing at an angle. And when we look, we see here that there's no force in this problem pointing at an angle. So that means step two is essentially done. So step three, balance the forces in the x direction. Well, when I look here, we don't have any horizontal forces. So there's nothing going on horizontally in either of these problems. So let's go ahead. We'll do case A, where now we will balance forces in the y direction. And uh, we do that by looking at the picture and reading the equation off the picture. So I have a positive tension pointing up. I have the downward force of gravity pointing, uh, well, downwards. And the effect is the force is balanced. Now, some of you might have gone ahead and just skipped straight to writing it like this. And that's fine in this case, uh, because there's only two forces and it's pretty simple. And then we plug in the numbers for the tension, 5 times 9.8. And we end up getting 49 newtons for our force. Now, for case B, it's a very similar thing. Uh, so this is step 5. And this would be step 4 right here in our little process. Now for case B, it's kind of similar. We have two tensions pointing up. They balance the downward force of gravity and the effect is everything is nice and balanced. So we simplify 2t equals w and so we're going to have um, 2t equals borrowing the weight uh, from the step here. We get 49 newtons and so we finally get a tension in the second case of 24.5 newtons. So just to kind of review I know that we were all pretty smart, and you might have actually guessed, you know, 50 newtons since that's about, you know, 5 times 10, 5 times 9.8, and here 25 divided by, you know, 25 is half of 50. You might have been smart enough to guess that, but again, that's not the point. The point is, I want to give you an easy problem using this recipe, because we're going to build up to some harder ones as the videos continue.